guys, what's up guys? I am so excited about this. This right here, this mystery box. So excited. Extra, ultra, uber, uber excited. But first, the intro, which is, I am Mr. Tattoo ASMR. And I'm here for tingles. Tingles and tingles and tingles and tingles and tingles.
just look like a bunch of team up. Box. I'm 
sorry, which has a, storm, a steam siege in there. Everybody talks crap about steam siege, but I've actually gotten some decent bowls. Now, this is an older tin as well. There is a... Okay, I want to take this card out without... I 
actually haven't opened any of these packs yet because I'm just saving all mine sleeved. And like I said, I'm doing that trick to where you can see what hollow you have. And I'm going to make it so I have all the hollows, but I want to keep them sleeved in their actual packs. Just because I think that's a really cool idea. And I didn't check these, so I have no idea what the hollow is going to be. The hollow is in the front, though. We'll flip it to the back. Bulbasaur. Chikorita. Dirtwig. And a Litten Hollow. All of the McDonald's Hollows look like this. I have the full sets from, I think, 2016, 2019, and 2018. This set just means more to me because it's the 25th anniversary and all the cards have the Pikachu logo on them. Even, even the regular cards have that logo on there. Wouldn't that be funny if one of these two packs was a Pikachu? Pikachu is clearly the most popular holo in this. Trico, Subble, Linton. So those are the two hollows. Actually, those need to get sleeved. And all of my cards in different sets, I keep them completely separate. So just ignore me if I have to take a second to move some cards aside. All right, now let's actually do the two Darkness Blaze packs, one of which was in that envelope right here, and I can already see there is a ball. There's a code card, guys. That's actually a code card from the Dragon Tin. So, he must have put this back together. And I think the hollow is on top, so we'll just flip the one card on top to the back. Oh my... Maybe this is like a god... Oh wow, man. I should have saved this one to the end, but I didn't. It's too late now. I've actually really been wanting this card. And it is in mint, pack fresh condition, a Salamance Hollow, an Eevee Reverse Hollow, Galarian Surfetched V, Ribbon V, an Alolan Muck, and a Decidueye. Okay. The best pull in this one is clearly the Full Art Trainer of Beatty. Thanks for that card, man. Thank you very much. I mean, I know I paid for this box, but that's I, I'm obsessed with Full Art Trainers. I've been collecting as many of them as I can lately. So that right there, my favorite pull so far. Just got to get all these... Normally there wouldn't be this many sleeved cards in a pack. Actually, my reverse hollows, I don't sleeve those, even though it is Eevee. Let me actually... You know what? I'm gonna sleeve that one for now and check on that. I'm not sure about that card because it is from 2016, so... That card could be worth more than what I know. All right, so let's just go ahead and open the other darkness blaze. opening up so many Japanese packs lately and not many for the front and not many American packs so this is it has been a while I know I'm being kind of anal. 
I'm sorry guys.
these are booster packs, I'm sorry. Oh my god. 
gosh, Team Rockets. Handiwork, another full art trainer supporter card. Men condition. It looks like it's almost perfectly centered. Look at that, guys. That is beautiful. I can never get it centered on the camera right. Oh, that's amazing. I can't believe that. Now, one of the questions I did ask him was, did you weigh the packs? And I know, obviously, when you ask somebody this, if they've weighed the packs, they're not going to tell you usually. And he was like, no, I didn't weigh the packs. I've had somebody screw me over before like that online, on eBay or online. He actually didn't say how it's happened, but he told me it did happen to him before. And I was like, all right, I trust you, which I do now. I do trust you. Thank you. I appreciate it that you did not weigh these. And I mean, no offense. I'm not saying that I doubted you. It's just that is the biggest fear of mine. That's why I do not buy individual packs on eBay at all. I never have and I never will, even though I did buy these and they're individual packs. So I trust, I, I'm very, very appreciative that these are clearly not weighed. So there's your code. Three to the front. I feel like there's something in this one too. It just feels bigger. That's what she said. But anyways. Jigglypuff. Nope. I was imagining it. I was being very optimistic. Alright, so. Again. Amazing pulls. Amazing pulls from just those two packs. Now. I'm going to open all of these. <laughs> So, I guess since this is an ASMR video, hopefully, this is some good sounds. Now, my favorite, favorite, favorite set, Japanese set right now, is Tag Team GX. I have opened, if you've watched the videos on this channel, about eight or nine booster boxes from that set. And this is the, oh, love Mimi Q so much. This is the English set to that. There's actually a little bit of whitening down here, but that's okay, because I have, I do already have these Mimi Q cards. It's just, with Mimi Q, the more, the better, the as many as I can get. some 
secret. Full arts, tag team cards. With these packs. I, I know there's some trainers in the tag team set, but I don't, I can't remember offhand what any of them are, honestly. Hopefully, hopefully we will find out. Code card. I always take the coins out at a time because I feel like if I don't, a little bit of whitening, then I will forget and they will get tossed. And I collect these coins, so I don't want to, I don't want to forget.
Bob sitting up. Tentacle. I've never seen that card. That's a really cool card. With the background. Zangus reverse and a bishop. I saw that one, guys. Sorry about that. For the front. My camera shut off. I'm not sure what you saw, but we just opened. Open this back. some of these cards there's like a a print line and it's only on the comments and uncomments it's really weird that was like the third one that i saw like that charizard team up okay this is a good card i mean anything charizard and there's no no whitening at all on that it is centered perfectly I have bought, been buying this card in Japanese lately, like actually buying it on eBay, because it's such a cheap card, it's not, I mean, it only costs, I think it's under, I forget how much I paid, it was under $5, and anything with a Charizard on it is a good buy, no matter what, if it's a hollow, non-hollow, so I don't think I actually have that one in English, that's exciting. a good example of that card was a green card the code card but it still had a good ball in it so you can't always go by that code card well i hope this back card isn't nothing special because there's some whitening right there on the edge and i saw a shine it might have been from the reverse holo actually it's i don't think it is Oh, okay. I've got a bunch of this one. Still a good card. Celebi and Venusaur. Venusaur. Tag team. I mean, it's a nice card. 
card. It's the first card in the whole set, number one out of 181. But, and I grade all my cards, or I've been grading all my cards. It's gonna take me a while to get caught up. I have hundreds of cards I need to grade. This card, because of the whitening, would not get a 10. But that's okay. It will be awesome for my binder. that print line again. Ch 
Charizard is, it is a little thicker on the right, but the back looks perfect. So we got two good pulls out of our first pack, which is crazy. That's a good 
Thanks guys. I think I've only opened a couple of those packs, so we will do it specifically in this order. We will go. You know what? Let's go Roaring Skies first. And I'm pretty sure this is... Oh, I saw the code card. But that's okay, because it was flipped the other way. I'm pretty sure this is a three to the front pack. So the centering looks good on that back card. There's a little bit of whitening, but that's understandable because these are, this is an old pack. All right, sorry, I was trying to cheat. I love these full art. I know a lot of people do not like these cards and they're not worth a ton of money, but I like them, I enjoy them. So we're setting that one aside. Reverse. Super. 
same size. Okay, let's get these open. Centerpiece. 15 bags of cards right here. And we have, oh, I forgot about this. We're not opening this up. It's all energy cards. It's all it is, is a thick cube of energy cards. We have the, we'll open, we'll open this. And then in this is, and then I'll, I'll open this one up to show you guys. The other one's just the same. It's just the, the blue version of. I don't have all the names memorized. 
grasped quite yet. I love when you get the cards that say the, uh, the type of deck it is, the single style. The little stamp that you get on some of the cards like that one as well.
cards aside and let us open Rapid Strike. certain cards and looking for them on eBay. 
secret rares. I think, oh, what is her name? Oh, I don't have this one. It's 88 out of 70. I do not have this one. I cannot believe the luck of this box. It's a rainbow, secret rare rainbow. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I was all discouraged with the last one and now this one is just killing it. Now, I don't know if I should say it, but we could pull another secret rare. We have eight packs left. It is perfectly possible. It's so possible. We pulled two of them within four packs. This is the best one of these trainer boxes that I've seen online. I've never seen somebody pull two secret, secret rares in one box. Isn't there another Cubone? There's two Cubone cards in this set. Number 40 and 41. I've never looked into Cubone's backstory, but I heard it's just super depressing. Something about how he doesn't have a mom, and it sounds very, very sad.
as I said before, if you like any of these Pokemon videos, any of them at all, and you want to see more, just comment. Comment below. And I will do more. I will do more regardless. Honestly, I love doing these videos. They're so much fun for me. And I just love sharing one of my new hobbies with you guys. So please throw a like, throw a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. And I'll see you guys very soon. I upload every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Please take care of yourselves and everybody around you. Stay safe. See you guys in a couple days. Thank you very much for watching.